talk. I need to talk to the manager. <coughs> Hi, I need to talk to the manager. Yes, you got me on the phone right now. Uh, once he's done, we can go ahead and... Uh, okay, in the interim while we're digging here in that matter, can you cash this? Uh, signature on the back, please. Yep. Thank you. Oh, hold it. Excuse me. Wrong ID. I uh, use this one. Can I have that ID back, please? Use this one. I'm sorry. What? Why? Yeah, I have all the corporate documents with me. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I don't have a current account with you guys to make a deposit. Okay. I have all my corporate documents with me. The problem is when it's a personal check, even if it's our own customers and they have a check table to their business, the only way to do it is they actually have to deposit it into the account first and then they can cash it. We can't cash it. So she wrote me a bad check that I can't use it. If you're not cashing, it's a bad check. Do you have a business account anywhere? No, not here in, in California. You can maybe do a mobile deposit into your No, account. I can't. And it's drawn on your bank, so I expect you to cash it. No, I understand that part. And if you don't, I'll just add it to the federal lawsuit. Do you want to sit down and discuss this matter in your office privately, or do you want me to discuss it so everybody can hear publicly what's about to happen? What's about to happen? Maybe we can sit and talk about it. But... I think it'd be a smart idea. I've had accounts with your bank, okay. but you guys allowed all kinds of theft to happen with them and fraud. And so they were closed as a result of all these ongoing police reports and investigations caused by your bank. So, unless you guys want to spend even longer in federal court, so I sue everybody who's ever touched my account, I suggest you cash that check, and then you get your fraud department to contact me and start being civilized, because if I get one more collection call from your bank, I'll sue everybody down to their fucking eye teeth. Okay, so at this point... You guys committed fraud. Right now, you committed you. fraud. Okay, at this branch, it. at this fucking branch, you committed fraud. At so you either... Branch? Yes, you, you either... Pull up. When did you... You guys actually did a loan here that you did improperly. It was supposed to be for 25000 not for fifteen. You fucked that up. And then you let if Jen Keatsman... Don't, don't, don't lecture me. Do not lecture me. Your bank time. committed major fraud. I'm trying to help you right now. Major fraud. I'm trying to help you right now. You're going to go to court if you push me any further. 
I, I don't. I seriously don't need. To, give me your card. And from this point forward, I'd be very careful how you talk to me. This is being documented for the Department of Justice. Okay. I'm showing you valid proof of I, fraud, identity theft. I'm not, and I'm not denying this part, but I do not want to. There's no point of a cursing. Because I'm doing. I want this check now. cashed now. Pull my accounts. What's your social? Three eight six six two two five nine four. Everybody else on the fucking planet has it also because it's been identity theft all the way now that I've even Three, spent time in. 594. The loan was done at this branch last August or September. A consolidation Was it loan. done for you or for somebody else? It was done for me to consolidate loan from this client, Jen Keatsman, who stuck me with 100000 in debt, and I have loan documents that I showed him at that time, and I wanted her to be a co-signer, and he said, no, it won't be a problem. Don't do it. I said, it's her debt. I'm consolidating debt she put on my cards because she had access to my cards, and she put all kinds of fraud debt on it. Who is this person? Whoever was the manager at the time, it's in your phone. No, no, no. Who, who is Jenna, this person the lady who wrote this check. I understand. What is she related to you? We lived together for eight years, but then she racked up all kinds of debt and decided I'm not paying it and moved out. And then we signed paperwork, court documents saying that she would pay off all of her debt on time okay. and any loans I had to take to consolidate that were her responsibility. You signed it with who? With us or with court the, documents. With, and I've tried to deliver them to you guys, and you've refused to take them at this branch. I've come here several times trying to fix this problem. Who was the person that helped you here? Originally? Whoever the manager was who did the loan at the time. Yeah. August, September. August of last year. Yeah. And it was supposed to be for 25000 but he fucked up on the paperwork. And then he said he was going to do another ten, and then he never did the other ten. So I couldn't keep up with all of her debt, so it started collapsing. And that's when I notified him and the bank that I'm not going to pay any more on this debt. I have documents. And he said, you'll have to take it up with fraud. And no one's ever contacted me. I just keep getting collection calls. But you signed loan documents on this deal that you're taking on? Which I wanted him to include her in the signature as a co-signer. And he said, no, it would be too complicated because of her bad credit. And he saw the court documents and he said it wouldn't be a problem. So he was the one who made the arbitrary he decision. He? he. Okay. Wherever he that I did the loan app with. That's why I got to see who's exactly you're talking about. That's why I don't mean, that's why I'm trying to ask you. Oh, no. Don't remember his name. I deal with thousands of people. I run major entertainment companies. I don't have time for this crap. I shot a thousand episodes of television last year. We released 300. I'm on a really busy schedule for taking out time for all this stuff is enormous cost to my company. I, I, I understand where your frustration is coming from. No, you actually don't. You no, may I have a fraction of an idea, but you have no I idea. Mean, for the most part, I understand So that can we get this cash? But, but, but just, just hear me out of here. Okay, so I understand what you're saying, and I understand what's going on here, but at the same time... I just want a yes I'm or no. To help you. Are we going to get this cash? I have to take a look at everything first. Okay, what more do you need to see? You've got all the reports here from... These Police reports doesn't mean anything to me. You, you have something about this business that this is yours? The, yeah, that's my business. Absolutely. All the corporate paperwork is right here. So I'm trying to help you out right now. I wasn't giving you any right. attitude. I wasn't trying to... Got it. That's why I'm backing down. I'm policy. So that's Got why it. I'm following certain things. I understand. And none of this problem you created. Unfortunately, we both inherited somebody else's bad will. Live Video Inc. Here you go. Corporate docs. And... Signature of stock sale. Where is that? It's in, it should be in that stack, but if not, there should be another envelope. Where is it? Ain't gonna see your ID. Uh, you have it. You have it in your hand. Here's sale of stock. We were supposed to open a corporate account the following month, but when he started getting all the fraud stuff going and doing the account wrong, we never got it open. It was going to be opened at this branch. You guys should have a copy of all this paperwork on file because he was given it before. Unless he destroyed it. I mean, if we don't do that, if we're not doing any deals, then... Well, he scanned it into your system. has even been filed as a federal matter and is affecting all my accounts. These are copies of documents and who they were copied to at a federal level. It's now under federal investigation. She screwed up big time. She 
She also breached Homeland Security when she gave up passwords on my network, because I do a lot of stuff for the Department of Defense and a lot of other government agencies. Here's a notice of more fraud as a result with U.S. Bank. This has actually gone to you, telling you guys in writing that she is a fraudulent person. This has gone to U.S. Bank, and here's all the people it was sent to. But you were living with the person, right? No, not at this time, no. She moved out last uh, June, July. I took the consolidation loan as part of a settlement offer that she couldn't pay off all the loans and time and notes, and that's why we did a document in court that she signed saying, and in fact, you guys were even sent that as attachments, all the court documents were sent attached to this. So this was before what's going on? Or no. After? Well, look at the date. And it shows you all the documents from court that were attached. You guys were already given all the court documents showing it's her debt. That's this year. Right, but it was sent prior to all of this. I understand, I, because I don't understand, I don't know what was going on. Or Understood. Going on That's on. some of the history. There's been several other emails, but I brought that in as one example of, you guys have been notified and even given, if you look here on this page, which page is it? Uh, this page, look at all the attachments of all the court documents that were even sent. So I've been trying to communicate, but instead they just keep having collection people call me. They're not calling to get more information, to see other documents. All they do is keep having the automated people call me and say, hey, when are you going to pay your note? Um, guys, you were sent notice and documents were sent to federal officials. The feds know that it's her note. What are you looking for? Thank you. Sorry to be short with you, but it's been living hell. Somebody just stole my car. My house has been vandalized five times in the last two weeks alone. They have toxins in my house. She's the person that I cohabitated with for eight years. Oh, she's the one that's causing all this mess? Yeah. She has an account with us? Yeah. And that's why I don't understand why your people aren't acting. And I've even given her her information. And she was copied on it also. Yeah, you see here her birthday and everything on the document that was sent to you guys. That's why I'm like flabbergasted. She's sending me payments of $100 a month to pay a note. It's not even close to paying it. Plus, she owes me tons of other debt. This is her contribution to her 100000 in debt. When does she have a plan on having... How long would it take to pay off 100000 with interest at $100 a month? Never? Because the interest alone would be higher than that, wouldn't it? On $100,000? Okay, so she's not even making the fucking interest payments. This is insulting. And I have all kinds of victim of violent crime reports because she also made threats that she was going to do physical harm to me. And since then, I've been having people try and run me off the road, shooting at me in my car, physically assaulting me. It's not fun being me this year or last year. It's been very painful at best. So if I'm agitated and short, I apologize. I've just been to hell and back. And I wasn't the one who committed all the sins. But I'm sure paying for it. And it's been over a week, and LAPD still doesn't want to take a report for a missing car yet. I thought when someone steals your car, you just file a report and it's handled. Not with me. You file a report and LAP decides when you can file it. So, all right, so I take a look at everything right now? Mm hmm. I only have one bad news. Yep. We won't be able to catch it right now. Why? There's no funds. So she wrote me a bad check? Pretty much. Yep. You see what I mean? She's even writing bad checks with you guys mm -hmm. to try and cover the debt. Could you let your fraud department know what's going on, please? Do you want to make a copy of this email to reference to them or not? I just, she keeps sending me bad checks even. So there's no way you can clear the check and just negative balance her and charge her. That's like me losing my job. Understood, and I'm not going to ask you to do that. Do you know of a check cashing place that might cash this piece of shit or not? I don't even know services that do that anymore. I know that there's a couple of like check cashing places down in 
Colorado. Okay. Where exactly? Right, right, right. In Pasadena or somewhere it's between? It's not that far from us. Okay. Like a few, like a few minutes. Okay. That's I appreciate the tip, and I'm sorry I was short with you. But none of this problem was created by you. But as you can see, it's not fun. Yeah, no. I mean, and that's the only reason I looked at our accounts because typically with online bill pay, check right. money gets withdrawn and put in our accounts. So how does that? Guys actually has her account on it. Oh, so that's actually her physical check. Or is that's that pretty much she wrote a check using the online? So she knew she didn't have funds when she wrote it. That part I can't tell you. Yes yeah, that's no, true. You, you, you can't read minds. I can't. I wish I could read that part. But that part. There you go. I didn't bring the box in. There's a whole box of yeah, documents no, I, think I can show you. Yeah, good enough for me. Yeah. Will you yeah. get the picture now? Yeah. You see why I'm kind of pissed off? If, and you see what's happening with my account. It's in foreclosure, or check recording, and all kinds of other shit. This has all been a domino effect from her. If you look prior last July, I had a perfect record with you guys. And I just came in. So. Right. But prior last July, you were good. I was sterling. Now my credit rating is what, bull or shit? It's like 500 or 400. I don't know. That part, I wish I could tell you that part, but I can't even tell you that part. A little late to ask you guys for another loan to cover yeah. her ass. What would you do? Go see the U.S. Attorney and call her day. That's exactly where I would go. I mean, I'm take I mean, the, the, I mean, the city I'm, isn't going to I'll be honest with you. Liability from our perspective is me because really I signed nothing. the note. Because when we sign a, a loan, because if we were to put her name, it would have been, been let's say, an immediate turn down if her credit is bad. That's she probably never why had that loan. That's probably why you did it. And he said, you so got the documentation, his, that'll cover it. Yeah, I don't think he tried to do you. something wrong. Yeah, he was trying I to think, help you in a sense to get the loan. Where it would have made the difference, if I had the extra 10, I could have bridged it better, certainly longer, and worked it out with yeah. her. But I, I didn't have enough to even cover all the bills sometimes that were outstanding. We, sometimes with the, with the loans, even if we Well, he said he actually... Have no control. Well, well, he put it in he, by accident. He put it in by accident. He said yeah. he had a one instead of a two. Oh, okay. It was an accident okay. on his part. But, again... Who knows if the extra ten thousand dollars would have saved me another month? Or it could have put you in even a bigger hole. It would have been one hundred and ten instead of a hundred. <sighs> Sorry about all that. How do you get a debt when somebody signed court documents saying it's their debt? How do you get it moved back to their credit and get it off mine? How do I do that? I believe maybe going through the court showing that you have technically the. So do a court order. Switch. That's the only way that because already have something that shows that she was willing to take that liability at that point. Good. Because it was written that it would be reduced liability if she paid it off on time, but uh -huh. if it didn't, it would go to the full debt. I cut her debt in half, even. And it goes on her. Yeah, so now she gets the whole debt. I'm go. sorry again. Don't Thanks. Her ah, where's the restroom? Uh, where's the restroom at? I'm not sure, man. Thanks. Shit, 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 shit. Um, excuse me, where's the restroom? The restroom is actually gonna be all the way in the back corner of the store behind the bakery. Back corner of the store. Thank you. Um, we're going down for obvious reasons, and so I can pontificate out loud without you hearing what I'm about to say. Because it's not gonna be pretty.